Now that we have results from the survey, let's use R to analyze them. We're going to read a CSV file. And it turns out, since I have only one file with the name results in it that starts with that word, if I press tab, R will complete it for me. It saves me a lot of typing. And let's look at the first two rows of that data frame. And we'll see that it has the age and the gender, and it also has the scores for five personality items, pers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and five questions about OCD, whose question codes were OCD 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. What I now want to do is I want to get the sum of the OCD scores and the sum of the personality scores. To get the sum of the OCD scores, I create a new column, and it's going to be OCD1 plus OCD2 plus OCD3 plus OCD4 plus OCD5. And I'm going to do something similar to get all my personality scores together. And then, just to check that those columns were created correctly, I'm going to look at my first two rows again. And sure enough, I have my two new columns. Before I do my correlation, I want to plot the two variables against each other to see what the distribution looks like. So I'm going to plot the OCD total on the x-axis and the personality on the y-axis. And I come up with this graph here. It's hard to tell from this what the correlation is or if it's significant. One thing that I can do is draw the line of best fit. So I draw an AB line and do a linear model with the y-axis described by the variable on the x-axis. That thing in between those two variables, this guy here, is not a dash. It's a tilde. And when I do that, I draw the line of best fit, and it looks like I have a slight negative correlation. To find the exact value, and if it's significant, I do a correlation test of personality and OCD. And then I need to say what method I'm going to use. I can't use Pearson's R because these aren't interval data. They're actually ordinal. So I'm going to use method equals Spearman, which is the rank correlation the Spearman's row. And when I do that, I find out that my row is indeed is slightly negative, but it is definitely not significant because my probability is way more than 0.05. Let's do another correlation between age and OCD. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to plot the age on the x-axis and the OCD score on the y-axis. Then I'm going to do an AB line on this. My linear model takes the y-axis first, OCD as described by age. And again, we have a negative correlation. The question is, how big is it and how significant is it? And so once again, we're going to do a correlation test of OCD based on age. Again, the y-axis comes first when you're doing the correlation test, and then the age, the x-axis comes second. And this time, we're also going to do method equals Spearman. Why? Because even though age is interval, OCD isn't. And I can't promote it to an interval just because I'm comparing it with one. To be conservative and safe in my estimates, I'm going to say, let's use the Spearman method. And when I do this, it turns out I have a correlation of negative 0.41. And it is significant. It's a little bit less than 0.05. And that's how you do correlation tests using R.